Hi, I'm Martin McGrath from Financial Edge Group. We specialise in helping people look after their retirement, both as financial planners and with an accounting and tax background. Today, I wanna to talk to you about something that we find exciting, believe it or not, and a thing called a carry forward concessional contribution. It's a bit of a mouthful, but it's worthwhile to look at and it's a, a big planning element that we use for a lot of our clients. So in other videos, I've talked about what's called a concessional contribution, and that's when you put money into super and save tax, which is really attractive. A few years ago, the government made some changes in that regard to, to provide some more flexibility. And that is that basically, if you haven't maximized your contributions into super recently, you can actually carry those contributions forward and use them in future years. There are some rules and parameters around this, and a few of those are one, they have to be used within five years. So you can't go back and use your unused contributions from 15 years ago. They have to be used up within a five year window. There's some planning around that. Two, your super balance needs to be below $500,000 on one July in the year you're using that contribution. So it's really relevant, I suppose, for people continuing to build their super. And a lot of people's super balances are below 500,000. If it's above that, unfortunately, this is unlikely to apply to you. And it's importantly, you wanna use it if A, you've got the cash to use it or how to fund it, but also B, it's worthwhile to do tax-wise. We use it a fair bit with some of our clients, particularly as they're approaching the age of 60. And some strategies might be including that they've downsized their house, recently received an inheritance, sold an investment property or something like that. They've got some extra cash they wanna kind of put towards their retirement. They'll come at us and realize they haven't been doing a lot with super, the limits the last few years have been about 25 or 27 and a half thousand a year. They might have only been putting in five or 10,000 a year, meaning that they might have 50, 60, $70,000 in carry forward contributions. Let's pick a more kind of average figure, so to speak. We might decide in that year that we're gonna go and put $40,000 into super for them and use that carry forward contribution. When it goes into super, it is taxed at 15%. But the good thing is they get to claim a tax deduction personally. And so if people are earning above 45,000, up to 80 or 100 or 200,000, that can be a massive tax saving because at those tax rates, we're paying nearly 40% in tax. So we're talking about saving 40% of 40 grand, which is $16,000 personally. The super fund loses six, but we're still ahead by 10 grand. Pretty powerful return on money in a really short period of time. And those clients come back, we get the tax return sorted, and they get that 16 grand personal refund, which obviously makes them really excited. So they are carry forward contributions, really powerful strategy planning tool, uh, particularly people kind of approaching retirement, getting to 60. They know they haven't been doing a lot with super, but now they're in the position to do so. Uh, so if you wanna find out more, feel free to reach out, jump in our YouTube channel where we talk about some of this stuff or jump on the website and book in a time and have a chat. 